I'm guessing that's what X amount of dossiers. Now, to be fair. Oh my god, the throne is everywhere. And welcome to another episode of ARK. And this time I'm going to do something a little bit different. First off, I've done a bit of work off camera, collecting a few tames and building up some of my um, supplies. So we will do a montage of all of that. And then we will see you right back here.
Okay, so as we saw, we put two hatches in the top of the raft instead of the roofs, so it gave us a couple more building structures, and it also gave us a way to drop Thames in. So we got ourselves a beaver for the wood, we've got an Anclio for the flint, we've got another high Triceratops, or Parasaur, just because we needed something to get some narcotics for the beaver, because they take forever and take so much narcotics. Um, even on my slightly booted settings, it still took over 100 narcotics to tame that thing. And whilst I was flying the Argy around to level it up, we did get this nice little kitty cat, who was 108 and is now a 161. We do have a saddle for it. However, we've left the saddle inside it because we've put an ascendant torch on it so we can see where we're going. And we have an ascendant torch in my inventory, which we'll swap with the basic one. Put the sparkler skin on it because I find that they always actually seem to give off more light for some strange reason. And we're going to increase the melee damage. Now, why all of this, you might ask? Why are you walking around with a shotgun? Why are we walking around with 138 um, arrows? 139, technically, because there's one in the bow as well. Why are we walking around with 50 bullets as well? Well, that's because, once it gets to daylight, we're going to do a cave today. Something a bit more interesting. I want to rebuild a new base, but you've all been staying with me for some boring crap recently. So let's do something exciting. Let's do a cave run. And, just a quick shout out, we have named the RG as... Zatanna, Zatanna, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but this is all thanks to Emerald Gaming 84 who suggested it in the comments of the RG Taming video. And as he was the first one to suggest anything, then I couldn't really say no. So there we go, Zatanna is now the name of the RG. As for the kitty cat, well, I've already decided on that name. It's going to be a saber tooth cat or a kitty cat for caves, so caves and cat, which we're going to abbreviate, put the two together. And cool, really, really original one here. Cat. See, because CA for cave and AT for cat. Yeah, okay, it's terrible, but tough. Ah, oh, I didn't even hit the enter. But yeah, the saber tooth is now just going to be called cat. And to be honest, if it survives the cave, then we might rename it then if someone's got any better ideas. Right. However, perfect time on arc. We do have a lovely view up here. Big, beautiful moon. But it is pitch black and I can't even see where the entrance to the cave is. So we'll come back as soon as it's bright. Right then. We're now at six in the morning. So hopefully we've got enough light to take old cat here and find this cave. Now, just to be clear, although this is really crap to see when you've got the ghillie stuff on, that, where I'm now pointing with the arrow, is our island. And the cave is in here somewhere. Make it easier for now, I'm going to put the gamma up, just so we can actually see where I'm going. And here we are. I'm going to leave the RG there. I'm going to check it's on neutral, because otherwise that would be oh, very, very, very bad. Where's old kitty cat gone? Where has old kitty cat gone? There. Right, you're now following me. Right then. So. We've got the cave. We've got the kitty cat. We have a torch. Let's do this. And of course, it's a habitual freeze when we get into the cave at first. So, I've got to admit one thing is, and there's an artifact in the cave, don't know if this is one of the ones we need, as it is to take, get the first um, boss at the green obelisk, I believe it only takes three artifacts, but for the life of me I can't remember which three that is. Now what was that? Already? Oh there's megalanias in the cave, they never used to be, that's a bit nasty, rabies. Come on, cat. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Yeah, come on. Yeah. There we go. Cat's got some weight. Oh, some food. It needs more weight on it. Oh, no. Right. 
We could fight everything, or we could run. So what we're gonna do is run. It didn't work. Oh no. Oh, it really didn't work. Just back up and bite. Back up and bite. Oh, damn you, snake. Oh no, damn you, Dossier. Don't set off the Dossier, whatever we do. Hundred and twelve scorpion. For those of you who have ever wondered, yep. Yeah, animals are normally a lot higher in the case. And there we go, cat prey dossier. Right. Mm, to make this better, we're gonna give old kitty cat here. All of our levels in weight. And already I can't remember where we're going. In fact, may have already gone the wrong way. That'd be good, wouldn't it? In my defence, it's been about half a year since I've been on the island map, past going and checking tomes and building some bits. Oh, great. And this, though, is why he went for a high level tone, because by now I have been knocked out and eaten. So, so bad. Oh, I laid in that. Interesting. But we're not going to read that right now, because we all want to get through this cave. So let's keep going. Check rivet safe. And. Levels in the kitty cat. Alright, at the moment, I'm not 100% sure where we are. In fact, I can tell you already, we've somehow gone the wrong way because I'm going to be on that side of the water. Not good. And another dot here. This is great. We're getting so many levels up. We've got the raptor bone costume, apparently. I'm guessing that's for X amount of dossiers. Now, to be fair. Oh my god, there's piranhas everywhere. So many piranhas, so many piranhas. And the sarco. We're nearly there, though. We're nearly there. Come on, kitty cat, come on. Come on, kitty cat, please. Jesus Christ! What the hell? There never used to be that many piranhas in there. Right. We're now going to feed our cat up a bit because, oh my God, look how low it was. Look how low. That was ridiculous. Now, of course, I'm sure most of you know this trick, by the way. We're just going to sit here and force feed it a load of meat until we get up to a decent amount. We're not going to go the way up to the full health. We're just going to go to about 1,200 or so. Finish this stack. Someone's moving around for us. However, same time, artifact. Only here. As a snake. Snake, 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 snake. Ah! We somehow fell through this floor. I don't ever remember that being part of the traps. Let's put another level into movement speed, why not? Ah, oh, the 1%. It was definitely worth it. Alright. Okay, dead end. Well done, mate. There's the artifact, look. Right there. So, <laughs> how easy was that? Now, to get out of here. Oh, we're going to give out this. Oh, actually, actually. Maybe, if we're lucky. Not really lucky. No, cat can't follow us through. Damn it. So we're going back the other way, but we're not going back in that water. 
that's a simple fact and there was our first dossiers in caves the first cave experience and our first artifact and oh wow I got three levels up right put those straight into fortitude because we're still trying to pound up as much as possible before we go into the snow areas and now I have to run back up here oh no 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 Damn you, Alpha Blur! Damn you, damn you, damn you! This isn't looking good. Okay, we got rid of the Alpha Blur. We're fine now. We're fine. Scorpions. We're just gonna keep biting. We haven't got rid of the Alpha Blur. There's still one. Get it. Get it. Kill it. Get it. Kill it. Kill it. Get it. Get it. Kill it. Got a second. We haven't got a second. No, we haven't. Damn spiders. Always spiders. Now we've got a second. Let's take all the shears. There's more. There's more. You know what? Nothing in these bags is worth it. Not that much. Let's just get the schmeeg out of here. So long. So long, you two. Ha! Ah, so long, all of you. Oh my god, no. Damn you, spiders, slow me down. Well, I did have some nice armor. Unfortunately, we don't have much left of it. We're gonna wait for a second and feed up our baby. Is, my God, is she taking a pound him? Old cat. He's also now quite a heavy cat. Right, a few more levels. Now, there might actually be some drops somewhere in here. I believe there was one in the water about there, but judging by how many piranhas there were, we really couldn't care less. So, what we're going to do is we're going to come all the way out here to the beginning and then get the heap out of here. Um, I won't lie, that, that went a lot better than I was expecting it to. So, we're going to put all the Thanks to the uh, saber tooth, and I think that might be it. A bit of the montage at the beginning. I haven't done yet, so I don't know what it looks like. Bear with me. And then a quick cave run. All in all, not too bad at all, people. One artifact down, about ten or so to get. <sighs> but we are free of the cave. Once it loads in. Oh yay, fog. And rain. Alright. Oh, okay. Um we didn't have to use the shotgun at all. We didn't have to use any arrows, we didn't have to use any stim berries. Um I'm kind of feeling now that I was a little bit over precautious for that cave. I mean, the amount of stuff I took in with me, I will show you in one second once we get back to the base, but, yeah. When I first started playing this, friend and I actually ended up setting up a small, well, workshop, I guess you could say, in that cave, for the simple fact of how much metal there was there, and we didn't realise it was on the island right next to us. When we went back later, after I could tweak things to make caves a bit more difficult, we went in, and within 20 seconds, the smithy, the forges, the foundations, everything was destroyed by a horde of titan bowers. And that really, really sucked. But this time, yeah, it actually went quite well. Right, we still had the gamma up, which I clean forgot about, sorry. And in fact, once we get back somewhere a bit, oh no, in fact I can do it now, because if I pause it, the stamina doesn't go. So, we'll put this back to where it's meant to be, about... 
Oh, halfway. Mm, we will carry on. So, wow. There you go, people. If you want to do the cave, take yourself a nice, strong kitty cat. Or a wolf, to be fair, as well. Wolves work just as well. And if you take yourself in a pack of them, then it makes it absolutely fantastically easy. But let's face it, that wasn't exactly difficult. So, yeah. We will join you back in one second and recap you on everything we've got. So, we're back on them. Kitty Cat is still healing up. Satana, of course, has got nothing wrong with her. And we have our first artifact, which is now the perfect excuse to find a new base to keep said artifact in. No, oh, can we put it in that? We'll put it in here. There we go. At least now we know it's nice and easy to find that artifact. And you've got a nice tame like this. Who frankly took an absolute pounding. But just kept on ticking. I've got another level, so we're going to put that into movement speed for me. Because if that cat dies, we'd want to be running as fast as possible. But yeah, all the stuff that I made. We had the ghillie armor at 102. We had the ascendant cloth hat. Past that, we just had the hide armor. The boots were graded as well. But yeah. We had spare water. We had stim berries. We had the sleeping bags, which we didn't put down. We had a bowler, although I'm not sure why. We had ammo for the long neck, ammo for the shotgun, which was also a journeyman. And we had lots of arrows, including a spare bow, in case we broke our um, crossbow. But for now, I think me and Dear Kitty here. First off, we best unload Dear Kitty here. But I think we did quite well. And now that we've got a um, XP boost still, we're going to take care of that. And go and get as many levels as we can. Once we have transferred as much as we can into there. Which wasn't enough, of course. Oh, bugger. So the rest of it can go all inside the RG for now, the raw meat. There we go. And the kite in can go, hopefully, in this chest. Yep. Okay. And we'll join you back once we've gone and got some levels, people. And my voice went during the um, XP grind, but obviously, frankly, the camera kept going. First mistake, we managed to find a raptor that took us off. And apparently we hadn't put the saber tooth onto neutral, so it just clearly ignored it. So we died. So that meant a quick run back, get the pterodon, and got back again. Somehow, the compu was still alive, and I couldn't see the kitty. But here it comes. So whilst it was doing that, I went to grab my stuff, and that was in fact the Titan Boa stuff, so that was no good. And look, another Titan Boa, brilliant. Thankfully, cat saved us. So, went to the cache instead, and of course, passed straight out from one bite, maybe two, from Titan Boa. Anyway, got our stuff, had to wander down the beach because we were overloaded, the cat was overloaded, and the pterodon had no chance of carrying us, and saw a nice little dimorphodon. So, we already managed to get a compi on our travels, and we figured why not get a dimorphodon as well. We still had some prime meat on us from killing the boa, uh, Titan Boas. And well, we had some time on the way back. So, pump a couple of shots into it. And that was it. Two shots. It was only level 16, but yeah. I like the look of the Dimorphodon, so I couldn't resist. Just grab some meat off of the cat. And um, yeah. I mean, as it is, we were actually out of the XP here, but. I just needed to get everything back to base. 
and um, the easiest way was to walk it because we only had to get down the coast a little bit. So chuck the meat in there. Won't take long at all being a level 16 and we're prime meat. And in fact, by the time we got to the kitty to sit on it for a little bit, just for some protection, it had in fact already tamed. So there we go, one day more for Don to follow us too. Now, considering it started on neutral, no idea how, but for some reason it attacked something. Now whether it attacked the Pegamastix that went after me, I don't know. But at this point, when we turned around to find out what on earth was going on, the Dimorphodon was actually attacking things, which I thought was just maybe a seagull or something like that. No, no, of course, it decided to go and attack two trikes. So, send Cat in again, too late already. And let them attack it, realising then that we might actually lose the Pterodon if things went wrong, because they didn't know what the levels were. We went back in with the shotgun. Went to reload it there, but the cat ran past at the right time, so it actually went into the cat's inventory. And there we go. Two dead trikes. So we carry on. Now, one of my most hated animals in Ark, which wasn't there when I first started. Yep, the Itchyornis. And them stinking Pegamastics. Now, at least the Pegamastics, when you kill them, will actually give you your stuff back. It seems the Ichthyornis, whatever you want to call it, the seagull, will not give you stuff back, even if you kill it within seconds of it stealing it. So, the berries, couldn't care less about. Pegamastix has already stolen my meat, and um, to be honest, I had no idea where it went, so we just left that. It was only cooked meat. Get back a little bit more, though. And we've got everything following us, but of course, a oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay, a Pegamastix stole my bullets. Right, there we go. Slight mistake. I actually thought it was the um, seagull that stole my bullets. So maybe if we'd actually found the Pegamastix, we could have killed it and got our stuff back. But it's just nicked 49 bullets off me. So I wasn't really too happy about that one. And just checking both things. And no, nope, neither of them had the bullets on them, so that was kind of sucky. Looking at the timer of this, I'm not sure. I may have the time to actually go back in a bit and check it. Being on single player, it will of course freeze all the timers once I go offline. Right, we're back. There was no Pegamastix. I found another one which stole my meat. But sadly, that was all that we found. So instead, I did realise that I didn't actually give you a clear sign as to where the um, cave was. So apologies for that. We'll just do a quick fly back and also test but I believe on normal settings you can't actually take a flyer into the caves so here we are on a map it's very clear where this river flows it's just next to that I suppose you could say little pond we're not going to stay around here because there's a freaking itchy on us and I hate them things we follow down this river from the coast which is of course right there you get this little cliff get a bit of a beach on this side but this side on the right is just cliff with no beach at all and eventually you come to a piece of beach so stop here for a second I've turned off my HUD just to give you all a bit of uh, better view we'll wait for our dear little uh, Zantana Zatanna Argy to get some stamina and we'll fly back now you can mess up and hang too far to the right and you end up going above the cliff so if you keep an eye out hence best doing this during daytime you can come down here where you're basically in a little valley keep following it keep following it and here it is it's not that hard to find now we've got this far in with a bird and that happens so that answers that for you no we cannot bring a bird in with us. More importantly, we're not going to go too far in because I don't want to die after doing it so well. So there we go. Here is the cave. Obviously, as you saw from the bits I have put onto the video, when you come down, 
you actually have to go as far left as possible once you get to that first artifact. Oh, sorry, because I brought the bird in this far. It won't actually let me get back on it to fly it. Now, let's see. That's enough. Still not enough. Guess we'll have to actually get it most of the way out of the cave. But there we go. This is, of course, the first cave you're really going to find on Ark. Um, apparently, it's from level 15. Which, I guess with how easily we did it, that isn't too surprising. Now, we saw that little glitch before it put all of the um, trees in. And I do believe there's actually a drop over here somewhere. I may be wrong. And yep, as usual, it appears I am. So, we're going to leave it there, people. I'm going to scout out some ideas for bases. Although, all of you feel free to give me any ideas on places that you'd recommend. Main thing is, we want to be close to the resources we want, so close enough to some stone and some wood. Good amount of stone and a good amount of wood. More importantly than that, close enough to some metal. And if possible, some obsidian and such would be nice as well. Just be nosy first and see what this raptor is. It doesn't actually seem to want to react to the fact that we're here. Nope, in fact, it's already run off. So, doing well there. Okay. So that's it for today, people. Thanks for watching. I hope it was a little bit humorous, a little bit helpful. And something that you're going to want to keep watching. So don't forget the corny lines. If you liked it, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more, please subscribe. All right, people. All the best from me and the dinos. And hopefully we will see you soon. Bye-bye.